you know, I think a little frustrating because we're on the cusp of getting that win and we, we want three points and we're working really hard for three points, but I think the team showed really good fight and really good character, um, you know, to go down a goal, get back in the game and go down a goal again and tie it up there towards the end. So in terms of effort and attitude, we can't ask for more. Um, I think it's being a little bit more brave early on in the game and, you know, imposing our will earlier on teams instead of, you know, waiting to go down a goal or waiting for the game to wind down to really um, kind of press the issue and try to fight to win. So just kind of getting that mentality earlier at the start of the game, um, I think will help us going forward. Maggie, um, Carrie was just in here talking a minute ago about the, the midfield three of you, Erica and um, Jordan. Uh, just how imperative you guys are in terms of not only kind of breaking things up in the middle, but also creating those chances going forward. You know, today you were, uh, I think one of the leaders passes completed in the final third and just kind of creating those opportunities by getting past defenders and feeding balls through. Just kind of talk about how the kind of evolution of this team has been uh, in the midfield over the last five games, you know, that, that unbeaten run for you guys and mm -hmm. how imperative is it to kind of keep creating those chances and just, uh, you know, keep trying to finish them. I mean, I think it's so important when we're able to move the ball quickly through the middle of the field. And especially in that final third, it's very hard to defend against. Um, but you know, that requires people wanting to get on the ball and moving early for each other and everyone kind of being on the same page that we want to have this possess possession in the final third and work hard for each other in possession, the same way we do out of possession. And I think now that we're kind of starting to build with that, you see it getting a little bit better every game. Um, and it's something we're definitely working in on pra um, working at in practice. Um, and I think, you know, some of these relationships, even though we are a good way into the season are still relatively new. So um, I think the more time we have together, the more strong they're becoming and the more dangerous we can be. And hopefully soon you know we're getting good opportunities and hopefully soon that will convert to getting more goals too but um yeah it's just all about wanting to be on the ball and everyone being on the same page about that um because you know I think that's our strength with the personnel we have is that combination play and breaking teams down that way um so yeah I think it's only going to get better Luis hi Maggie hi. um the team is undefeated, uh, five matches already. Um, what's working uh, d mainly defensively for you guys now, um, in, you know, compared to other versions of the Orlando Pride? Um, I think we're just a little bit more organized right now. We have an idea of, you know, what we're willing to give up in terms of possession and what areas of the field we really want to eliminate um, allowing opponents to exploit. So um, just having a clear picture, I think going into matches is helping. And um, we've been working a lot on our shape in training. And I think that translates into the game, um, just being more confident in our positioning and confident um, with one another, um, those relationships on the field, who's to the right and left of you, um, getting those pairings a little bit more, um, you know, tight, I think has, has helped, you know, defensively um, tighten things up. Go to Dan on the Zoom. Hi, Meggie. Thanks for your time. You kind of alluded to it a little bit earlier in terms, of, in terms of Seb saying he wants you guys to get on the ball and be willing to make things happen on the ball. But I just wonder, like, especially for you guys as a midfield free, how much fun is that? Because it really comes across at the moment, like you guys are just so fluid and you just look like you're enjoying it. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I caught myself mid-game today being like, this is fun. We are playing soccer. We're moving the ball. And I think that's something that we haven't done in the past. So to be able to enjoy having possession um, and having the ball and, you know, playing together is so nice and refreshing and a change. I think that you haven't seen from the pride in the past. So like I said, I think the more we continue to do it, it's going to get better. And, you know, 
having the ball is a great form of defense. The longer we have the ball, the more we cherish it, the more we take care of it, the less defending we have to do. And I think that carries over to the previous question too, of um, what has changed defensively. I think we're keeping the ball more and we're keeping the ball better and not giving it up in dangerous areas. So that converts to, you know, less defending we have to do. Um, so I think it goes hand in hand with the defensive aspect as well. Back to Austin. Maggie, just kind of going off of that, you know, you're saying you're having more fun playing in that midfield role. How much has Seb kind of impacted this team to, to make it more fun to play and, and, you know, give that kind of competitive edge. It seems like this team over, you know, the last month and a half, two months has, has kind of changed in that mentality. How much has he had an impact in that? Like tremendously, um, right from when Seb took over, he started instilling that, that, we want to keep the ball. We want to be a possession team. And from day one, we just started training more like we wanted to keep it. We were doing rondos, getting everyone comfortable on the ball in different situations. If you're an outside back, you get put in positions where you have 360 pressure like a midfielder. So if you're comfortable doing that as an outside back, you'll be comfortable getting on the ball in tight positions. So just practicing in that and him preaching that and also just instilling confidence with us. He's okay if we make mistakes, if we're, you know, trying to play the way we want to play. He'd rather us mess up trying to keep it than play a long ball into space um, for no one to be there. So he's been huge in kind of this mentality shift um, and getting everyone on board to kind of buy into this new system. Last one, Lise. Um, how how big of an impact are young players like Yuli Doyle, Kerry Bello, and Thais Rice from UNF um, are making in, in this um, Orlando Pride? And um, how are they adapting, you know, within the group, you know, the seasoned veterans? I think they've been so good. Um, I mean, tonight, I think was a great example, Julie Thais coming in and making a difference and, you know, playing really confident, which I think is so great to see from young players. Um, they don't look timid on the field. They don't look scared. And they not only come in seamlessly, but they're raising the level. And that's what we need. And I think, I mean, both of them are game changers as well as Michaela. Um, you know, everyone who came in, um, just going back to that competitive, um, environment we've created in training, I think is translating to the games too, because everyone's hungry for time. Everyone wants to make an impact when they step on the field. And I mean, round of applause to them because, you know, they're doing great things for the team.